Genki Call here with Faction Info and Teams for All Seeing Eye. It's down here on the bottom right area of your underworld. It is connected to da -da -da, Darkstone. So your kingdom level here can make a difference. Once you get to level 12, you start having the ability to get these Faction Horde stat bonuses that are incredibly helpful. Um, of course, the most important thing is to get your Faction uh up to begin with if you can get it to level 100 slash 10 10 is the highest quality you can get um, if nothing else try to at least get the quality to 10 because it's going to affect your delve room uh, final chest and it's it makes a huge difference so um, do what you can on the horde there uh, I'll put a link to the horde calculator to help you um, manage uh, an efficient way to get this leveled up with the least amount of gold. I will put a thumbnail for that at the end of this video. But right now, let's go over the um, these troops. So, dum -dum -dum. all right. Uh, yes, we'll do this one first. So most people that I've talked to like to just use this exact team for their pure faction. Ocularian Leech, Ocularian Watchmother, and Zerodar. Personally, I'm having more luck trying with, dum, 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 for Pure Faction, Ocularian Leech, Ocularian, Zero Dar, and then Watch Mother. Totally personal preference. Obviously, it works this way as well. Um, but the Ocularian Leech, you are sunk if you do not have this troop in the final room. It explodes four gems, meaning it's getting mana for your team. It steals attack from the first enemy, adds it to its own, meaning that you are hitting harder. And they are not hitting you as hard. You can see they've got some monster stats. Um, well, these are doubled, basically. It seems like in the final room, it's really difficult to do Pure Faction 500. Not my favorite thing to do, but um, some very good rewards for it. <sighs> All right. Kill their ocular and leech as quickly as possible. You need to worry about the Watch Mother because she's not only healing, she's also summoning. And then the Ocularian can get you some more mana. Hopefully you will be able to line things up so that brown gems transforming to green will get you a um, four match at least. And it does two da or it does damage to the two weakest enemies. Then we have the Zero Dar, whom we are counting on once we get some attack from the Ocularian Leech. Um, once we steal some attack, because it's going to it's going to do damage to the first two enemies, but it's also going to transform yellow gems to skulls. And hopefully, you will be able to get alignment for a match four so that you don't lose control of those skulls and you can just zip right through the entire team if you get alignment correctly with zero dar if you don't it takes a lot longer but it is possible to still complete the delve without it but you're lost without the ocular and leech and watch mother you've got to have those two anyway that is your pure faction rundown let's talk about the faction assault because uh, the faction assault is the only time you can get the faction weapon and the weapon you can get in the shop for tier four it is jar of eyes this is one of the better faction weapons I really really like this weapon it summons an ice storm if you have it fully leveled um, and it explodes things nice big explosions and it summons so it's super useful um, it's something that you may have fought and been very annoyed with, and that means you must have it. If you hate fighting it, then it's something you need on your team. But it will be available only during Faction Assaults for All Seeing Eye. You can get it in the shop. You can also get it in the Soul Forge. I don't recommend it because um, only today, only during a Faction Assault, um, I don't recommend it because the diamonds are much harder to come by than gems. If this is the only way you can get it, I understand that totally. But if you can swing it, I would go for the um, getting it in the Faction Assault shop instead. So next up, we're going to go over some teams. Ba -dum -ba -dum. 
All Seeing Eye uses blue and green and the Jar of Eyes weapon. Pure Faction code is right here. This information is on my forum. I will leave a link in the description below. I will also have all teams posted in the description of this video below. So the only thing that's not going to be there is this. This information right here. I already blew it up. Okay. So explode, destroy troops. This can help you manage making a team. And, um, of course, I have lots of teams for you, but there are so many possibilities. I can't possibly cover them all. Um, my, I will post a link as well to how to build a quick delve team. So if you don't see something you like, you can, or if you don't have the troops, you can build your own. And these troops are key. Two exploders to the do damage to all enemies. That's my usual formula. Lyrasa and Ori can be used here for their storms and um, a few other little things here just for some ideas for mana generation. I do have four teams here with no legendaries. I've got your deep, uh, your quick delve teams. The fastest team that you can have for this this place is Shield of Raskaya, Merilith, and two Teslas. Um, you can take that from 20 all the way to 500. It's super, super fast. It's very efficient, which I love. Of course, you can use two Teslas and Holy Saint Astra, which is also listed down below. Um, let me scroll down here. Sorry if I'm hurting your eyes. But I have lots of different teams here that you can try out um, with Mythics, without Mythics. And then I've got some bonus teams here. And these bonus teams are kind of experimental because I don't know how well they're going to work as I haven't tried them yet. Now, Rope Dart, Night Spider, Mother of Darkness, or Consort of Darkness, and Captain Macaw, um, it, it is a fantastic PvP team and it can be used in this particular site. Um, it is a little slow, but it loops like crazy and you might love it. I don't know. A um, little slow for my taste, but I also have a Picea team here. There's Yao Guai with Megavore, three Tannenbaum teams boosted by, um, you know, built around the idea that Tannenbaum does triple damage to entangled enemies. So I've got things here that will entangle them. Just, and then I've got your high level delving. Here's the Shield of Raskaya with Tesla, Holy Saint Astra, or with Marilith. I've got a Persistence team here. This is one of your Guild Guardians. I think this is going to be a fantastic team once we have a War Gear class. Um, but I thought, you know, it should be interesting to put it in here to see how it does. Uh, Shibanu Vespera can be used here. Rowan, of course, is always going to be a good choice. Um, High King Iron Gut. We've got High King Iron Gut. Zulgoth. I've got teams with both on there. So... Lots of stuff for you to choose from. I hope that you find something that you really enjoy. And um, look at the end of the video here for those thumbnails for those videos I mentioned. Please like and subscribe. Have fun delving and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.